Often when people think of pistol duels, they imagine the duelist standing back to back, then walking 10 steps, turning around and firing. When researching information about historical duels, I was unable to find any actual evidence of that specific method, so I'm assuming it's just a Hollywood myth. If you have any good sources to the contrary, let us know in the comment section. Let's look at some authentic rules. The Irish Code Duello was adopted in 1777 and was followed in England and other parts of Europe as well, with potential exceptions and variations. The basic rules in America were mostly similar, but there could also be drastic differences here and there. Many of the rules describe what kind of offense calls for a duel, how it can be avoided, and what obligations are involved. I'm going to skip those in favor of the dueling procedure itself, as covered by rules 16 to 25. The challenged has the right to choose his weapon and the ground, the challenger chooses his distance. Usually it was at 10 or 15 paces, but in theory it could be any distance, although French rules determined that it had to be 15 paces or further. They were accompanied by seconds whose duty it was to attempt reconciliation in order to avoid a duel and to send the challenge as well as handle several tasks during the duel if the parties cannot be reconciled. The seconds fix the time in terms of firing, load the pistols, give the signal if necessary, and in general make sure that the duel proceeds according to the rules. From what I understand, if seconds disagreed on something, they might end up exchanging shots themselves to settle the argument. The parties can agree to either fire any time, at pleasure, which is an odd term for a violent situation, or upon a signal, which can be something like a dropped handkerchief or a spoken word. There is some additional information in the Americanized version of the Code Duello that was written and published by John Light Wilson in 1838. It says the seconds were also armed with a loaded pistol and were free to shoot a duelist who fired before the agreed upon signal or time. Seconds were also supposed to prevent a wounded friend from continuing the duel and to make sure that a friend does not attack an already wounded adversary. Although wounded duelists did sometimes continue to fight. These rules specify that a smoothbore flintlock pistol should be used, unless the adversaries agree on using percussion pistols instead. From what I've read, depending on the country and region, using rifle barrels might be seen as a sign of lack of skill, or using a smoothbore might be taken as a sign of cowardice, because the lower accuracy would mean a lesser risk of dying. In other words, whatever people are most comfortable with, they will find justifications for, as always. It says that a second can examine how the opposing party's second loads the pistol to make sure it's done properly, but usually they didn't, because a gentleman was supposed to be trustworthy. The fighting position was muzzled down, and holding the pistol with the muzzle up was considered an advantage because it allowed quicker firing, so it was not usually done unless agreed otherwise. Going back to the Code Duello, it describes how the duel was to be done. A misfire was counted as a shot, so apparently there were no second chances. If your pistol failed, you were in trouble, although it's possible that your opponent decided against shooting you if he saw that happen. A wound that made the hand shake ended the duel, so depending on the individual person and how they react to injuries, a superficial wound from being clipped by a bullet might be decisive. Deliberately missing was frowned upon, according to Rule 13. Quote, no dumb shooting or firing in the air is admissible in any case. The challenger ought not to have challenged without receiving offense, and the challenged ought, if he gave offense, to have made an apology before he came to the ground. Therefore, children's play must be dishonorable on one side or the other, and is accordingly prohibited. If both duelists missed, the seconds were expected to encourage them to reconcile and be done with it but they could go on exchanging shots until one was hit or until they agreed that honor was satisfied. 